Cubstock 2016. Look at this thing. Joe Madden's name will forever be etched in the annals of Chicago and American sports lore after leading the Cubs to their historic 2016 World Series title, ending an over century long championship drought, 108 years to be exact. Now, the former Cubs skipper is telling his own story and imparting pearls of wisdom from the diamond with the help of esteemed baseball writer Tom Verducci. The Book of Joe. Trying not to suck at baseball in life was just released this week. And joining us now is the pride of Hazleton, Pennsylvania, Joe Madden. Joe, so great to see you again. Welcome to our viewers back here in Chicago Thank and you. joining us here on CBS2. I really appreciate it, man. Great to be asked. Thank you very much. Well, the book of Joe, it's part memoir, part motivational guide covering your uh, long, lifelong journey in baseball. Sure. During your five seasons on the north side, I became quite accustomed to your madamism, madamisms, like try mm -hmm. not to suck, do simple better. Mm -hmm. My personal favorite, don't ever permit the pressure to exceed the pleasure. How did you come up with the concept to write this book? the book of Joe and, and make these various chapters with all of these little isms you've imparted with us over the years. Yeah, that was uh, Tom and I got together after the 2019 season and uh, we we're talking about make, uh, doing a book. And with that, the original, con the primary concept, and you can see that too, is to compare and contrast managing in the 1980s to the present time. But that was number one. Number two, take all the uh, different sl sayings, slangs or madnisms and try to extrapolate on them, uh, develop them and Tom's such a brilliant rider, so he took, I, I recorded about 100 hours uh, while, while riding my bike during the pandemic in Arizona. Gave that to Tom on a daily basis, and he'd come back and uh, give me direction, drill down more here, Have you, would you like uh, to talk about this also? Those kind of things, so I was directed through the whole thing. And then, like I said, Tom's a brilliant rider. What he did with what, we, what I uh, said on the recordings, combining with his research and his own uh, thoughts, I, I thought he did a wonderful job with it. They just flashed a picture that you and I took. Uh, I saw. I remember that. Mesa. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, remember that. And, and yes, it, yes, I do. Over at Sloan I Park, uh, you recount your ride to glory with the Cubs, but you also addressed the less than glorious departure from the North Side. What went south with the front office and Theo besides those early playoff exits toward the back end of your tenure here? Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just a matter of uh, it philosophically got different there at the very end, and that's that's really what it comes down to. There's no, uh, I'm harboring no ill feelings whatsoever. Uh, Theo and I are still friends. Jed, uh, he and I talked after I had been let go. Uh, that's not the point. I mean, that's uh, people choose to do different things after a period of time. We had a, a great run uh, to be invited to be there for five years and manage it was life altering for me and my family. So I'm always indebted in that. You'll you'll see in the book the, uh, during that last year they just they being Jed and like, Theo wanted to do things differently and I wasn't really able to do my normal things uh, regarding the program and, and, and just to set up with scheduling and, and different items. So it was time. Uh, it's cool. I wish I stayed there longer. Don't deny it. Uh, with that particular group, that group was fabulous. Um, and it's going to be very difficult to replicate that in the near future. Joe, you had another difficult situation getting let go by the Angels in June, but you had so much success here with the Cubs, of course, in Tampa Bay, mm -hmm. taking both teams to the World Series, winning it all here, five decades in pro baseball. Do you want to manage again? And there's an opening on the south mm -hmm. side. The White Sox looking for a skipper. Are you interested? Have they talked to you? They have not spoken with me at all. Uh, and I am interested in, in any job pretty much. But the caveat is I really want to work with somebody that wants to put baseball before data and analytics. I want, I want a greater balance in the game. Um, I, I'm, I'm into the numbers. I want the information, but I think it's overtaken the game itself. And if part of the disconnect with the fans and the way the game's being played and why we are researching so many alterations to have people actually uh, watch it again, I think has something to do with the methods being employed. So I'd love to work with uh, a real tried and true baseball person uh, I want I want analytics to be part of it. I don't want them in the clubhouse before the game at all. Um, again, just a greater balance. Let baseball be baseball again. Yes, I want scouting information, but not to the point where it becomes intrusive. I hear you've been staying busy with the three G's, not talking about your, your cell yeah. phone connection. Golf, gardening, and grilling? Yes, great. Uh, yeah, today the golf will occur about noon after I get done with everything. Uh, gardening, I, I may have to cut my grass. We've had a lot of rain lately, and I might get into that too. But the grilling has become great. Last night, I had a bunch of cousins over, made some pizzas uh, on the grill, which are fabulous. The secret ingredient is lime-infused olive oil, and that's it, man. It's and then I I take my steam a steam bath and a shower, and then I wash and game. I fall asleep on the couch 
with my dog Clementine, so it's been pretty spectacular. Well, Joe, at 68 years young, you are the essence of cool. Tell me the secret. How, how, how can I bottle it up? I guess I got to buy it. I have the book. You already I'm have it. You through. got it, man. You got it yourself. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're uh, just dripping with it. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. Give my best to Jay as well. I know uh, Joe, we thank you. love having you both here. You did so much for the community with your Respect 90 charity when you were here. Joe Madden, thanks for being with us here in Chicago. The thank Book you. of Joe, Trying Not to Suck at Baseball in Life, is available now in stores and online. Again, Joe Madden, thanks for your time.